So here's a generic cheap air compressor that has been nailed. It ran without oil for like 20 minutes. The piston seized and the rod has been uh, shattered to pieces. Now you see that uh, it has oil inside and I put some uh, screw type compressor oil uh, thinking that uh, it had just the it was just the piston that had seized but um, yeah I then realized that it had more damage when I turned the fan on the motor I was hearing some uh, knocking I thought that it was just the piston that had uh, unstuck but um, then yeah here's the air filter and I'm gonna take this cover out That's a 2.2 horsepower motor. Here's the impeller. It looks quite heavy duty, but I can tell the same thing for the cylinder as well. As the cylinder head and the one-way valve. Here's the flap. Here is the cylinder and the piston. We can now see how the, the piston has seized solid. The the rod is so badly twisted and uh, you know it's, it's almost amazing how this thing oh damn focus anyways you see now uh, probably this damage here is uh, because of the crankshaft obviously I mean but uh, I've never seen this uh, kind of damage on a non-powered uh, cylinder piston here is uh, skid really bad yeah this thing here is uh, broken holy crap whatever happened to this uh, piston and the rod was uh, really rough not sure if I can fish out any part Holy crap! Damn! This is unbelievable. The crankshaft is uh, cast iron. It's a cast iron piece and you can see that uh, there's molten aluminum here and actually everywhere. So yeah, I can imagine the the amount of uh, temperature that uh, this uh, crankshaft has reached. Surprisingly, the motor works fine. Uh, yeah, anyways, this is going to end up in a scrapyard. So despite this is not a powered cylinder, you should always check the oil level and uh, do uh, oil changes on a regular basis and uh, even the cheapest one of these uh, things should work quite reliably so yeah anyways thanks for watching and uh, that's all